Hello, hello, dear viewers. Welcome to our channel. It's very good to have you here. In today's video, we are going to have a look at relays. We will have a look at the internal construction of a relay, how it operates, and how they get connected in an electrical circuit. So relays are electromagnetic switches. They simply serve a purpose of a switch. They are used to control a high current circuit with a low current circuit. Schematically, when they are represented, the schematical representation of a relay is in such a way. For example, it will be in such a manner. This is a schematic presentation of a relay. And then we have a coil. This is a schematic presentation of a relay. As you can see, there are four terminals in this particular relay. For example, this relay has got four terminals. There are relays with five terminals. There are relays with three terminals as well. But today we will be having a look at the four terminal one. So, generated by numbers, for example, let's say this is terminal 30, and uh, here we have terminal 87, terminal 85, and here we have terminal 86. So, terminal 85 and 86 is a control circuit. By passing electric current through this circuit, we will energize a magnetic coil, and that magnetic coil will activate current passage between terminal 30 and terminal 87. So by having a small current as a control current, we can control large amount of current passing through this. So when we want to connect, let's say this is connected to battery positive, for example, let's say this is connected to battery positive, we can connect this to battery positive, and then we can connect this to our load. If our load is a lamp, for example, let's say it is connected in such a way, and then we can connect this to a control switch, then the switch can be grounded. So when this switch is turned on, current will flow from battery positive through the coil and then it comes to ground. This will magnetize and the magnetism will close this contact point. When this contact point is closed, current can now flow from battery positive through this winding, through this switch, and then it passes to the high current circuit. So this is schematically how they are represented. Now, in order to identify the terminals on a relay, you can have a look at the numbers. There are numbers that are imprinted in here. You can have a look at the numbers. But if the numbers are not clearly visible, if the numbers are not clearly visible, you can use a multimeter to identify the terminals. Look, for example, this is how you do it. Let's put it in ohms. Let's measure here, for example, between these two terminals. There is no resistance reading. Here we have an ohm reading. So based on our previous schematic diagram, when I have terminal 86 and terminal 85, we have continuity through the coil. When we measure volt, when we measure resistance between terminal 30 and terminal 87, due to this open circuit, there is no continuity. So that way you can identify which one is the control circuit. So for this particular relay, this is the control circuit. As you can see, we have resistance. You can do the same for other relays as well. For this relay, we can do the same. For example, let's measure resistance between these two. No reading between these upper ones. We have reading. So it means these tiny ones, they are the control circuit. Same thing can be done for every relay. For example, let's measure between these two. No reading. Let's measure between these two. Oh, this relay is not functional. Indicates that this relay is not functional. Let's replace it with another one. So our tests have proven that this relay is not functional because there is no continuity in any of the terminals. Let's replace it with another one and look for terminal 85 and 86. Let's measure continuity between these two terminals. No reading on the voltmeter. And right here, now we have reading on the multimeter. This indicates that this relay is functional. We have continuity between terminal 85 and 86. So this is how relay terminal can be identified. If the number or the inscription on the relay is not visible, you can identify the terminals such a way. Now let's open up and uh, have a look at the inside. 
let's see what is on the inside in order to open you can just try it very carefully pry it open like so can be pried open very gently and carefully here we have it so here is an electromagnetic coil as you can see there is a very multiple number of turns are there in this electromagnetic coil when this magnetic coil is energized it will activate this contact point see there is a contact point there it will be closed when there is magnetism it will be pulled up and uh, will have continuity when there is no magnetism it will go down and it will have an open circuit now this coil winding has two ends one end is connected with this cable one end is connected right here this will go to terminal 85 and the other terminal is connected right here right here it is and then it will travel this way and then it gets connected to terminal 86 here so if i apply voltage to these two terminals we can see the electromagnetism acting on the contact point and on some relays resistors are connected in such a fashion resistors are connected between terminal 85 and 86 in order to absorb any excess voltage that takes place when the relays are switched on and off so if there are any excess voltage than the rated for that will be taken care of by the resistor now let me let me show you how it activates let me have a connection of battery terminals to terminal 85 and 86 and then we will have a look at how it activates this is battery positive we have battery here it's connected here now let's have a look at what will happen when the negative is connected to terminal 86 see we have activation here look at the contact point you can see the contact point moving right in there so when voltage is applied we have contact point closing when voltage is released it will open again so every relay is basically operate with this principle when voltage is applied to the electromagnetic coil it will activate the switch when voltage is released there will have discontinuity so this is how they are turned on and now when we have a closer uh, when we have a closer examination this right here is terminal 30 for this particular relay this is terminal 30 not this is terminal 87 it is connected to the upper stationary contact point when this coil is activated the contact point will move up and uh, have continuity between terminal 30 and terminal 87 just I have, as I have showed you previously, terminal 30 for this particular case is a movable joint and we have a stationary contact that is terminal 87. Now in order to clearly understand and uh, have a look at the practical operation, let's bring in some electrical load and have a connection between the relay and the electrical load and then we will look at how it operates. For this demonstration, we will be using this halogen headlamp and uh, we will be controlling it with this switch. This is a push button switch. Let's activate this with a push button switch. Now, as I have previously mentioned, the switch is to be connected on terminal 86, 86 and 85. Right here, we have the control circuit. And this right here is the load circuit. Let's do the connection. We will be doing this connection. We will be supplying terminal 30 and terminal 85 with battery positive. And then load will be connected to line 87 and then the 85 will be controlling the entire circuit so let's connect battery positive to terminal 30 and right here we have terminal 85 let's connect that also to battery positive it's connected to battery positive now terminal 87 which is right this terminal will be connected to the headlamp so this will be connected to right here it's 
So line 87 is connected to the load. Sorry about this full connection. I should have used alligator clips. So this is how it is connected. And finally, the other terminal of this light switch, this valve will go to ground. We will be grounding this. Terminal 86 of the switch, right here, terminal 86, will be connected to a switch. Here is the switch, the switch terminal. Put it far away. And the other end of the switch should get grounded. So let's collect all the negatives, the grounds together, and then connect them to battery negative. Now they are all connected. Let's check. See? Every time the switch is pressed, this relay will be energized and we can control the lights. Every time the switch is turned on, electric flow will be activated to the relay. The relay will get energized. You see the clicking noise, you hear the clicking noise, and then the light will turn on. As long as the switch is turned on, the load will remain activated. Let's have a closer look. Can have a look. So, dear viewers, this is how relays are activated, and this is how relays operate. We can control a high current circuit with a small control current. Well, that is all we have for you in this presentation. If you like this video, smash the like button. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification so that you will be notified whenever we come up with another video. Till then, stay safe.